Okay, so at this point now we have the coat is completed. You have your binding done on your neck. You have sewn up your facing. What I did forget to mention, and it can be done, but it's a little bit awkward, is to, before you sew up the sleeves, is to actually put two little buttons on the tabs on the sleeves. It can be sewn. It's just a little bit awkward, but it's easier to do it before you sew up the side seam. So my apologies for that. Now, we're just at the point of doing the hem. You have your piece of remaining piece of bias. Okay. Pin that along the edge of the... Hem on the right side to right side. Use as colourful whatever piece of uh, bias that you have. I have pressed down one edge. Ready to sew. Now because it's biased there's a nice little bit of give and stretch in it. So that will come around the rounded edge or the curved edge of your hem. Okay. Make sure the front facing sorry now just make sure the front facing is facing the front and that the bias is just like you would have done on the collar that the bias binding is to the to the top comes in about two or three centimeters and just trim off any excess same on the other side make sure the two edges of the facings are meeting Nice and flat. Pin in place. And trim off. Sorry, any excess. Machine stitch along the bottom. Now, you could have done all of this in one piece. I did it this way. It's entirely up to you. You can pin it all and do it all around in one piece whatever particularly suits you. So starting at this facing here, all the way across to the other facing. Okay, so we just get that machined here. I want to say a big thank you to my assistant today. I have an assistant camera person, which is, who is zooming in and zooming out. <laughs> and doing a great job. already remove all the pins clip your corners to take out any bulk and turn everything through do a little bit of a, a wiggle there to get a nice um, get a nice shape on your corners you can give that a little bit of a pressing Turn up the hem, press it. Now you can have a, I, I would roll just a small little bit of the coat hem up on the end there and slip stitch that in place. Okay, so that is basically your coat finished. Your final little job, when you have that done, your final little job is to edge stitch around the bottom of the coat and around by the collar. Okay, so we'll take a look at that later. Okay, hon, 